Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today is just going to be a simple video on how to use your makeup brushes. You know, there's a million different ways, maybe not a million, but maybe close to a million different ways of how you can use your eyeshadow brushes, makeup brushes like blush, powder, foundation, concealer. Now there isn't a way that is 100% right, but there is a way that if you are sort of stuck on how to use a particular brush so i thought i'd do a full get ready with me using the makeup brushes that i'm going to be doing a full face of makeup today i'm just going to stick with a small eyeshadow palette today so i just pull out a couple um we've got this one here by natasha denona the mini glam palette we have the charlotte tilbury exaggerize eyeshadow palette which i'll just open up like that we also have the Smashbox, and this one is the Punked Cover Shot Eyeshadow Palette, which is, i open it, this one here. Very, 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 very cool toned. And I also thought I'd pull out the, I mean, I'm not gonna use them all. I just thought I'd show you a couple of different ones that I thought I might use today. And this is the uh, Viseart Petite in the shade Apricotine, which is this little quad right there. Not not a quad, this little eyeshadow palette right there, very peachy toned and just beautiful. The first thing I'm gonna be doing is just hydrating my face with some moisturizer. Now today is a very overcast day in Sydney. I am not gonna be putting on any sunscreen, I know, naughty me, but hey, it's just this is just a tutorial, I'm not really going anywhere. So this is a Sonzi. I've been loving this moisturizer for every day. It's a new brand that's relatively new actually. Um, and I think Pamela Anderson has actually collaborated or has, she's actually the co, one of the co-founders or has joined Sonzi from what I last heard. I know that she uses it. So anyway, <laughs> we're gonna, prime the skin with this moisturizer now this one here is called super serum and this is actually really really good for combination normal to oily skin if you are more on the drier side i do have the other balm multi moisture mask by sonzi there goes stuff over the floor so this one here is the multi moisture mask can be enjoyed multiple ways so i have been putting this on my ankles and on my elbows because i suffer from really really bad i don't know if it's psoriasis or eczema this might be because i'm always lying down on the floor reading and my elbows are on the on the rugs and it just gets really kind of frictioned against the rug and causes dryness but um i've always had it so i don't know if it's actually that that causes it i'm just simply going to be using this today give it a shake taking my glasses off because I can't see now and squeezing the tube and just applying a light layer of the serum just a little bit more over the skin now I the only thing that I've done this morning is I've splashed my skin with some warm water and I'm taking that just gently under the eyes as well to act as a nice eye cream. I have a couple of blemishes that have popped up. I am going to be blaming these, I'm blaming these pimples, the Elta MD UV daily. I never ever used to get breakouts when I was using the UV clear SPF 46 of this, but ever since I've been using this, for some reason I'm getting pimples. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be starting off with eyes and the reason I wanna start off with doing the eyes first is because if we have any fallout, and by fallout I mean, you know, sprinkles of the eyeshadow falling onto your face, we can easily wipe it off. Rather than putting on the foundation first, powder, then doing the eyes after that, and it's just a little bit harder to clean off. This concealer, which is the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Radiance Concealer. And I'm just simply putting a dot on each eye, literally like that. Now, with a paddle brush, this one here is by Colourpop and it's just a foundation brush. I do have two 
sizes of oh, so this one's by elf the smaller one is by elf this one here is by ColourPop. I'm going to be using this for foundation application today and this one's going to be used as concealer application. People like to do makeup their own way. You can put concealer on with your fingers, you can put it on with a damp beauty sponge, a dry beauty sponge, you can put it on with pretty much any eyeshadow brush if you desire. You know there's so many different types of concealer brushes like for example there's ones that are sort of fat and fluffy like this one here by KVD and then you also have ones that are sort of slanted this one here by Zoeva which maybe I will use that today I don't know there are so many brushes so many different ways patting that in with the foundation brush that is by elf this is the small one really really light layer what I love about this brush is it's smooth, it covers the whole eye pretty much. And if you're like me that suffers from really bad sweaty hands, having a makeup brush do the work for you rather than having to towel off your hands because it's sweaty all the time, it's a blessing in disguise honestly. Alright, now just before we do go on I am going to do my eyebrows using the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. This is my favorite, favorite brow product. I'm just going to do the eyebrows, brush them through really lightly. All right, what eyeshadow palette am I going to use? You know what? I think I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Glam Eyeshadow Palette. So it's got some beautiful tones here that we can work with. Brushes. It doesn't really matter what brand you have. Some brands are more expensive than others. Some are natural bristle brushes. Uh, most of mine are synthetic, although I do have some natural head brushes that I do use sometimes, but I do prefer to use the synthetic brushes now these days. So now to clean my eyeshadow brushes in between applications, I'm just using this little hair donut. You just simply run your brush over it like that and gets all the eyeshadow off. The brush that I'm using today is the Angie Hot and Flashy A503 and it's a big blending brush. Dip into this shade right here. It's just a very pale but concentrated shade this one. I can't actually remember what it actually looks like. We're going to be putting that all over the lid from the bottom of the eye just to about halfway up the lid. Now if you have a problem with shadow sticking it's okay to start off with a lighter shade because if you make a mistake it's just easy to clean. Now with this fluffy brush it's doing most of the work for me. As you can see it's coating the eye with a beautiful taupe shade. In my opinion I thought it was going to be lighter but it's actually quite a deep tone this, this beige shade right here which is actually quite beautiful. So you can leave your eye simply like this. That's all you need to do. A bit of mascara and you're done. Now if you do get crease build up with the concealer you can simply pat it out but for the sake of this tutorial even though I do have a little bit of creasing in the eye there that's okay. You know to mitigate that problem with creasing a light little dusting of translucent powder such as the Charlotte Tilbury the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder or the Pat McGrath Labs the Skin Fetish Sublime Blurring Under Eye powder this one here which I'm actually going to be using it underneath the eye when we set the concealer. Continuing on just to build that color up into the crease it's looking something like that at the moment. Now I'm using this brush here by Englot 9S flat fluffy brush and you can pretty much use another brush like this one but smaller to achieve the same in-depth effect that we're going to be doing on the outer corner of the eye. I'm going to be dipping into this deep dark brown shade here using the flat side of the brush to pick up that shadow. Okay, tap off and I'm tilting my head to the, I'm looking down into a mirror, I'm tilting my head to the left which will be all right and I'm angling my brush flat on where I picked up the shadow and I'm placing it on the outer corner of the eye and I'm simply just tapping the outer corner of my eye and sort of bringing it out, extending it out, 
past the lashes and it naturally creates like a wing look and I'm just building that color up tapping tapping really really softly and you can see that it's created like a sort of Amy Winehouse wing type look we are going to blend it out you can leave it graphic like this with my eyeshadows I really really love to have a like a more graphic look but for the sake of just blending and how to use eyeshadow brushes we're going to blend this out so just going to build it up a little bit more because I want to I want to have a deeper effect so I'm really happy with that I'm going to get a smaller blending brush this one here is by Angie Hot and Flashy and it's the A504 brush so compared to the A506 this one is smaller holding the brush on the edges of that eyeshadow and I'll just bring it up a little bit closer so you can see we're just going to tap the edges and we're going to blend it out really really softly so that there's no harsh line and I'm not going like this I'm actually just keeping the brush in the same spot and I'm moving my hand and just leaving the brush letting the brush do the work to blend that out see how it's starting to blend out and soften and I'm going to just extend that top part of the shadow out into the natural crease of the eye and guys this is look you can do so many different you know styles of how to wear eyeshadow but this is more just like just a general guide really to how to use your eyeshadow brushes makeup brushes there we go so that's pretty much blended out and you can see the full effect there and I'm really really happy with that now you want a nice shimmery pop of color in the middle of the eye you can simply use your finger to achieve this this one here is by Huda Beauty it's a pointed sponge brush it's really really good for applying shimmery eyeshadows I'll just show you now of course you can use a normal flat shading brush like for example the one that I just used here or even a flatter a flatter shading brush like that even if it's a concealer brush you can just simply put your eyeshadow on it spray some setting spray on there or even just water and put that on your eye I'm not going to be putting on any glitter primer today to pretty much show you how it can be even more impactful we could be here for days <laughs> With the tip of this eyeshadow sponge i'm going to dip into this shimmery shade right here actually i'm going to do that one yeah we'll do this one here see how it picks it up beautifully making sure that it's nicely coated and putting that in the middle of the eye for a beautiful pop of color for a beautiful shimmer I'm actually going to take that right to the inner corner of the eye and what I love about this one is because it's pointed it really can get into the corner of the eye so so beautifully just like that I'm going to be skipping eyeliner today I'm not going to be putting on any liquid liner nothing like that it's just going to be very 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 natural casual well I don't know if you can call this eye look casual but not in the mood for a heavy eyeliner look today so after that I am going to be applying my favorite all-time round mascara at the moment which is the wonder volume thrill seeker mascara by Rimmel okay guys so I've just applied mascara on the top lashes let's get into doing the foundation I'm going to be using the KVD good apple serum foundation giving that a shake applying 
a pump of that over the face using my my Colourpop paddle brush or you can go in with a another type of foundation brush look any foundation brush is fine but this is the one that I've been using lately and that I've been really just loving for the coverage and application beautiful paddle brush smoothing the brush over the face smoothing the foundation with the brush Now you can use this foundation also as a concealer as well, which I usually tend to do. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be using a separate concealer. Now, if you do still have brush streaks over your face, you can simply go in with a damp or dry beauty blender or beauty sponge to remove the brush strokes or you can just keep on blending until they sort of go away themselves just getting my paddle brush sweeping it up and then blending it out obviously being careful not to get it inside my eyebrows and this foundation does a really beautiful job of covering up small blemishes pimples etc i'll just give you guys a close-up of how the skin's looking Just turn, oh, made it brighter there. There we go. I'm going in with the Morphe concealer. And the trick here guys is really do not put too much. Put it on the back of your hand if you have to. I'm using the small elf, small elf paddle brush that we use to prime the eyes. I'm going to be using that to pick up the concealer. And I'm concealing under the eyes. I'm just looking up into a mirror and applying that concealer under the eyes. Now start lightly, if you have to build up, then you then by all means build up. If you want, you can also clean up the edges of the eyeshadow if you need to. Concealer is also great for doing that as well. Now if you want to do a smoky under eye with shadow, I will show you how to do that as well. Now that's the eye concealed. without concealer with if you want to set your concealer with a bit of powder today I'll be using the Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder which is this one here with a big fluffy brush this one here is by Sonia G tap into that powder about that much and dust a light dusting of that under the eye to set it sorry I can't see what I'm doing in the camera there I'm just looking into my mirror here getting a bit more about that much and lightly tap and this will set your concealer for the day Going ahead to conceal the other eye, just putting a bit more concealer on the back of my hand. In my everyday life, I don't actually set my eyes with powder. I find that just having my concealer without powder does a really, really good job. But I just thought I'd show you how to actually do it with powder. You only really need just a light dusting. That's all you need. If it looks too caked on, you've used way too much. Either you've used way too much concealer, you've gone way overboard with the powder. Just using the small 
little fluffy brush by Angie. I'm going to be dipping into this taupey shimmery shade right there and I'm just going to be smoking underneath the eye. Now you can use a smudger brush but this brush just works so beautifully for smoking out the eye. I'm going to do the other eye now, dipping into the same shadow. And I'm going to be just putting a bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. And now it's time to do the rest of the face. For bronzer today, I'm going to be using the Mosaic Powder Bronzer by Essence. I'm just using a big bronzing fluffy brush. This is the Too Faced Mr. Right fluffy brush. Dipping into this bronzer, packing it on because it's really, really light. So you can see it there. And bronzing and contouring actually at the same time where you see that darkness there that is where the natural contour of my face starts and pretty much swirling my brush really lightly over the foundation and you can see that it's deepening up with a bronzer so I'm just dipping into that a bit more not even tapping off because this is such a light shade it's fine if you're working with a really deeper shade of bronze tap off first only pick up a little and build it up this bronzer is so light you could pretty much put it all over your face as a face powder and a little bit on the top of the nose and bridge of the nose i've got an itchy nose top of the forehead a little bit on the chin a little bit under the cheekbone a little bit under the cheeks under the chin you can swipe the rest down the rest of your neck to avoid having that demarcation line i'm using the milani luminoso blush picking up the same bronzing brush could be any blush brush bronzing brush you name it i'm tapping in swirling around a little bit picking that up and Pretty much lightly holding the brush and skimming over the cheeks, the apple of the cheeks. Picking up a bit more and building up that colour. And what I love about this blush is it's almost like a highlighter blush in one. So you can go ahead and put additional highlighter on the top of your cheekbones, but I'm not going to I'm not going to put on that step today because I feel like you just don't need it. But if you were going to be using a highlighting brush, one that I do definitely recommend that is kind of precise and amazing to use is this is the Real Techniques highlighting brush here, which is this one there. You would just put in you would pretty much just put it on the top of your cheekbones and put that highlighter on. This has got nothing on the brush, mind you, but imagine God, it kind of it makes you feel like I am actually putting on a highlighter right now, doesn't it? And I don't even have anything on the brush, but there you go. Um, so, excellent brush, the Real Techniques highlighting brush. Now it's time for lips. My apologies for having dry lips this whole time in the video. I'm sorry. That's just how I am. I always forget to do my lips in the video. Really, really sorry. I'm going to be filling it in just with a really simple nude lipstick. And this is in the shade Chic Shine by Mecca Cosmetica. Straight from the bullet. And that completes the full face using makeup brushes. And that completes the tutorial. If I were to show you the brushes that I have in my collection, you would think that I am an absolute nutcase because I am. Now, I know that there are people way, way, way worse than I am with their makeup brush sets, but I have a lot. Now, 
I love makeup brushes. I have been collecting them over the years. You know, um, being 49 years of age at the moment, I have just been on that brush bandwagon and obviously supporting um, other, you know, content creators, influencers that have actually also come out with their brush sets. I am really doing my best to curb the brush purchasing and really just stick into the eyeshadow makeup foundation blush bronzer brushes that I've got in my set and giving them a good clean every now and then because you have to so thank you guys so much for watching I know that we could have gone way 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 more in depth with how to use you know specific brushes to do specific things and and at the end of the day, I could possibly do just like a little mini tutorial on specific brushes and maybe just do like a little set of videos showing specifically how to use that brush. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. And for those of you who have recently subscribed to my video, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It means the world to me. I love you. And I just want to say thank you. That's it. Have a good rest of the day or night wherever you are and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye for now.